beautiful day for golf. We're not good enough golfers. Where is the beverage cart? I can't believe I paid money for this. And we're back with another USA. episode. USA. <laughs> with another episode of the Ridge Golf Podcast. Yes, we're very excited to talk about the Ryder Cup, but first I want to talk about uh, something that me, Alex and I talked about a little bit earlier. He can fill you in. It's uh, Alex running the Twitter page for Ridge Golf and his Twitter adventures. Yeah, well, I so I, I, one day I was like, just I was like, okay, I want to look up some golf stuff on Twitter. I don't know what I'm doing on there, but I'm like, I'll look up golf and see what happens. It's just woman, women naked when you type <laughs> golf in. That's all I got was women naked. Interesting. Like there wasn't even, there wasn't I even, might have to test this theory. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't even any articles about anything. It was just what a, topless women. What, what course were they playing at? <laughs> Not even a course. Just like a white background and tits. <laughs> mm, yeah, so I might, I might need to look into this myself and do some research. I don't know. You might have to bleep that out, but <laughs> hit. We have to bleep it out. So you just literally type golf in the search bar, bar to find some articles that you could and put up. Eight hours later, he didn't find anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was uh, no articles of clothing, that's for sure. Oh, was, oh there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually just stopped after that. I'm like, okay, this is yeah. just a rabbit hole that I don't need to go down right now. I get maybe some why... golf stuff and some not golf stuff. Maybe that's why they changed the name to X. Oh, or nice. Triple X. Yeah, I I don't know. I haven't I haven't done a search since. Now I just go on Google and just look up news articles and I'll post it that way. But yeah, don't. I'm well. I mean, you can. Um, for the purposes of this podcast, I haven't done it again. <laughs> um, uh, well, yeah, maybe we'll do some more research. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe give Bridge Golf Pod a follow in case Wags accidentally uh, retweets the wrong article. I was very surprised. I didn't know that stuff. You could just, uh, you know, I'm, I, even like Facebook, I'm sure people out there listening can know the same thing. It's, it's been, or it's been happening to them too. Like even on Facebook, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Like there's been some like we, like if you go like on those reels like where you can just watch videos on Facebook sometimes something like that sneaks in there too like it seems like they're getting pretty like loose with what like content can go on these things now and it's getting pretty sexualized I don't know it's weird well make sure you don't do any accidental shares on our page <laughs> no I just like everything I see so we'll see what happens <laughs> maybe it'll all pan out. He's getting his algorithm figured out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that nailed down. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about it. I, I don't know if you're supposed to follow people to like follow you back. I don't know how any of this works. Really, Brady should have been the one that uh, did it, but I don't. We'll see. So the so Alex is our head of social media. So yeah, good. Do you uh, the guy with no social media platforms. Excellent. I would tell the people how the poll turned out for if Linda Chen. I think that was her name. Yep. Could keep uh, yep. the tro or the get the car, but I don't have my phone, and uh, I'm not gonna go get it. So, um, I can probably figure that out here. I think there was three votes, and three of those people are in this podcast right now. So, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and one created it. So, so I think she didn't end up. The vote was that nobody wanted her to get the car. No, no, I don't think so. That's too okay. bad. I I don't know. And, eh. You know, we won't talk more about her, but uh, I still think she deserves the car. I don't know. Okay. Well, every week we're going to just do a little segment on your uh, Twitter adventures here. Oh, I better, I better log into it then. I guess I've had like a three day hiatus. <laughs> we'll call it uh, X going to give it to you and we'll add a DMX <laughs> drop for it. I like we'll it. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, the switch gears here. We'll talk about the Ryder Cup played at Marco Simone Golf and Country Club in Rome, Italy. Very exciting. That is the what is the exact date that it's going on? When, September twenty ninth, when, Wednesday. It starts. This is the Ryder okay, so. Ryder Cup All Star Match. Yep. So September 29th to October first. Very exciting. Uh, Brady, is there any gambling findings? Um, yeah, there's some, but nothing too crazy. Golf is always like they don't really have too crazy props compared to, you know, NFL and stuff. But 
odds for USA versus Europe. USA is a slight favorite at minus 110. Europe is plus 120. So basically even more or less. Yeah, roughly a push. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You can bet like all sorts, you know, who's going to win day one, who's going to get the most points, least points. And we'll talk about like the events and stuff, but you can pick players to score the most amount of points, teams to score the most amount of points. Um, the two bets that stood out to me were the top overall wild card point scorer. So the captain selection is not the ones that made the team, um, you know, with their own play. But uh, Brooks Kepka was plus 550. I liked that. He shows up for big events. And then there was a top rookie scorer. And that was, let me find it again. Top overall rookie scorer. I like Max Homa at plus 300. Those would be my two or three bets. So if you're putting in like 100 on each bet, what's your payout there? Put in 100 at plus 300, you win 300. Well, 400 totally get your 100 back. But you win 300 new dollars. Three to one. Call it instead. New dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Not old money. New to you. Yeah. New to me. You to somebody else, but new to you. Yep. 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 So for the players on the U.S. team, we have Sam Burns, Patrick Cantlay, Wyndham Clark, Ricky Fowler, Brian Harmon, Max Homa, Brooks Kepka, Colin. I always mess up his last name. Markawa. Markawa. Xander. Chefle, <laughs> Scotty Scheffler, Jordan Spieth, and Justin Thomas. You're always a little, you're a big Xander fan, aren't you, Bray? I do like the Xander Schuffle. He just likes just putting money name. on him. <laughs> it is a fun name mm-hmm. to say, for sure. He and hasn't really done too well for me. He comes close, but never quite gets me the win. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to flirt with it, but I'm not actually going to do it. <laughs> do you know what his uh, do you know what his favorite thing to order for dessert is? A souffle. <laughs> Sorry, get out of here. Oh, I, I knew just, as I got soon it. as you said that, you were gonna make some <laughs> stupid joke about. Yeah, souffle. I liked it. I told you I don't got much to contribute to this conversation, so I just gotta kind of. Well, that just I made it worse. Something. <laughs> I didn't hate. We'll, it. Put a, I was gonna, we'll put a poll out there to see if that was <laughs> worth it. I was gonna say, considering Alex doesn't know anything about the Ryder Cup or golf or the players. I doubt this is going to be anything useful. Well, I'll find but, uh, to... Like I said last week, and you guys were so excited that I mentioned it, but um, Steve Stricker is one of the team captains. So Wisconsin native from Edgerton. Yep, and he was yep, also yep. playing in the American Family Insurance Tournament this summer. And he won? I think he did no, win he the Open Open this year. Yes. Maybe he won he the did. last few before that. He's like won it twice, two or three times in a row, I think. Home court right, makes sense, I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, I've never played it, but I've also never played. I said it's his home course, so though. I mean, it's where he lives. But yeah, um, funny thing about the USA members, Jordan Spieth almost wasn't going to be able to make it because his wife was due literally like the week before the Ryder Cup. But luckily, baby came a touch early, so now he's able to join the group. That's that, if that, 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 that thing was running late, he would have been staying back. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to make this happen right now. We got yeah, this big do one coming up. Get get this thing out of this get out. This baby right now. Get out. Oh, there's the baby. Cool. I gotta run. See ya. I'm uh, headed to run. At, yeah, Jordan Spieth at the uh the last Ryder Cup when it was at Whistling Straits hit probably like the coolest, best golf shot I've ever seen. I'll have Wags put it on the on the Twitter page. I'll, I'll send it over to him. <laughs> oh, jeepers. Christ. Link in the description <laughs> below. What the hell? Who is this now? What am I looking up here? I might as well do Jordan, that while I'm doing all this crap. Jordan Smith Ryder Cup hit where he hit it off like the side of a mountain. Like he literally hit that shot like exactly oh, I straight saw up. That. I saw that. Oh. And then he runs down the hill and almost ends up in Lake Michigan. <laughs> Just type in Jordan Spieth crazy shot. I'm sure it'll be the first. It'll probably pop up. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you were telling me before, what is the player format throughout the days? Um, so the Wednesday is just your right, like all-star match, whatever that is. And then Thursday, Junior Ryder Cup, which I don't Darn. know who that is. But then Friday is the foursomes and four ball sessions. Yep. And so, four ball is... Uh, yeah. That's what everyone plays their own ball and the lowest score of the team. So it's two v two, two U.S. players versus two uh, was it Europe players, and the lowest score takes the point on that hole. Yeah, 
and then the the four the four sums and four ball match is Saturday. And the four sums is when they do the alternate shot, I believe, too. Yeah. So yeah, that would be uh, yeah, you're just alternating shots, and then you can. I I read a very interesting article about um the home host, like the Ryder Cup team host, like so for in this instance, it's in Italy, so the Europe team is the host country. They get to manipulate the course up until a week before the event. So like they'll know all their players and they'll know their strengths and weaknesses and they can like push tees forward or backwards or widen like roughs up or down and stuff like so they can manipulate the course to their advantage and like strategically move things around to like put them in a better place. And I thought that was super interesting. That is pretty interesting. When like the course signs up to host the uh, the Ryder Cup, they also get like a about a year or two before it, like a another event to host, like another tournament to host at the same venue. So basically, like they get a whole tournament's worth of data points on the majority of the competitors to see how they played the course once, and they can again, like you know, manipulate the course to their advantage. If like, oh, USA is super long off the tee, let's like you know push this closer so that puts them at a decision to make an awkward wedge in or like pull it farther back so it brings this sand trap that they would normally clear and play like pretty wild all dog legs all dog legs every hole yeah yeah if someone was scouting our team it would be all dog legs left <laughs> bar, bar three dog leg right yeah i guess that uh, was like it's like a little gamesmanship you know yeah like, it's kind of like yeah. But we can do that too, then, right? Yeah, when it's yeah, next when it year, comes when it's UN, UN, yeah, then you can they can do the same thing. Yeah, I it's like that though. I mean, yeah. it brings a little, you know, it brings a little extra. And then, but I'm surprised that so if they're allowed to do that, and if that's public knowledge, that the bets on the visiting team wouldn't be a little steeper. Less, for yeah. the odds. you would think maybe the our team is just so stacked that it even with all the help from the visiting team, it still is it's good. I don't know. Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> so I just brought up the European team, and I don't see anybody really. So I'm gonna mess up a lot of these names. So get ready. Uh, Love. There's a couple good ones. Yeah, there's but, some right. good players on there. <laughs> Let me know if I mess these up. Ludwig Aberg, Matt Fitzpatrick. I already messed it up. Yep. Tommy Fleetwood, Tyrell Hatton, Nikolai Hogard, Victor Hovland, Shane Lowry, Robert. McKintree, Roy McIntyre. McIntyre. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense now that I'm looking at it. Yep, they, yep. Yeah, they put Y's in there where they should be, <laughs> and then uh, Roy Milk, Roy, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Roy. Oh my God, Rory McIlroy. Yeah. I'll get it for you. Yep. Reading's Thank hard. You. John Rom, Justin Rose, Sepp Straka. Yeah, so like McIlroy, Rom, Hovland, Fleetwood, pretty good. Rest yeah. of them, I don't know. Fitzpatrick's pretty <laughs> decent too. Yeah, if it's Patrick, but sorry, he was on the the full swing or whatever that Netflix podcast was. He was decent. Yeah. And then the captains, I don't know who any of them are because they're not from Wisconsin. So <laughs> mystery captains. Yeah, I could pronounce all those names, but I'm not going to. So, well, I don't hear you there. try though. So. Yeah, fine. Why don't you let's pronounce keep... that last one? Just the <clears> last. One. Luke Donald. Thomas Bjorn, Nicholas Colzertz, Eduardo Moliniari, Francesco Molinari, uh, Francesco Molinari, and Jose Maria Alzabal. I like it. Work. As a ball. <laughs> As a ball. As a ball. Yep. Uh, do you know what network this is going to be on? The CAC. The CAC. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's on NBC. NBC USA mm -hmm. Golf Channel and Peacock. Ooh, my head Sounds right. I do not have the cock. I would imagine most of the like the good matches and stuff will just be on like NBC. But yeah, yeah you can think, watch everything on the Peacock. I think if you're watching it live, it starts at like 3 a.m. on Friday morning or something like that. Yeah, so the Wednesday, <laughs> 6 30 a.m. to 9 30 a.m. Eastern on Peacock. And then like the good stuff, like the foursome Friday, 1 30 a.m. to noon. You can watch on USA or the Peacock. Or Peacock. Set the your alarms or stay up late for some one one thirty a.m. The conclusion, however long that takes. 
featured match four ball is six twenty a.m. till conclusion. <laughs> yeah, it's one thirty one thirty a.m. to three a.m. three a.m. to noon, roughly. Yeah, they're like they'll like re-air it, but they won't be live. Like yeah, everything everything you can watch on Peacock if you have it. But then most of the good stuff is going to be on NBC, and some of the other stuff is on USA. But that's it. It took me this long to post that video. <laughs> I've been working on this for minutes. Hey man, at least you got it done, right? <laughs> oh, I had to log in and I forgot all the information. <laughs> I do it all from my phone, but I'm on my PC now. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Too late. You guys, you are such, an, it. such an ordeal. Did you guys see the uh, what the prize money is for the champion? Ooh, no, what is that? Isn't it? So it's nothing. They just play this tournament oh, for fun. Yeah. Only pride. That? Yeah. Well, I don't I think mean, I do it. They don't from, get uh, shit. Oh, they probably get. Yeah. I mean, they get sponsors. No, they do act well. Like, no, yeah, they're sponsors. <laughs> they get money, but they don't get anything from. There's no tournament prize no, money. The, no the actual or anything. Probably. Yeah. Get the USA the gets. The USA gets two hundred grand for a player, but it all goes to a charity of their choosing. So they don't actually get it. They just get to choose where it's donated. Mm. And then the European teams can sometimes get gifts or travel, but yeah, they mostly just play for country, more or less, which I thought was a little interesting. I assumed it was just a regular tournament that you know you get paid. Go to work, get paid. And I thought that it was like the stand, the overall standings were a little closer until I just looked them up. USA has pretty much dominated this. They're Let's go. 27, 14, and two all time. Yeah, and take that year up. America won last year nineteen to nine, which is the biggest winning margin so Almost far. Almost doubled them up, or did double yeah. them up? Shit. Double, yeah, <laughs> that say they. That's the biggest winning margin that either team has had. Did you see uh, Brooks Kepka's new haircut for the tournament? Mm-mm. No. He cut himself a sweet looking mullet, and he called it the Freedom Flow. <laughs> that would go right along <laughs> with that stealth driver that they made for that. Yeah, watching this uh, Jordan Spieth video, Brady. Did you when you watched it? Did you think he was just gonna run right into the water when he got? I, I, it? I was not sure if he was gonna be able to stop or not. <laughs> the first time I saw it, I was just like, guaranteed he's going in the water. Is like, oh, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it because <laughs> it doesn't stop. allow you to stop really himself sure. very well. Yeah, yeah. He that was yeah. He just swung and then just immediately took a, or took off because yeah, his own force kind of pushed him back. He's swinging into the so, side of a mountain. I have no idea how he got that ball up. And then, like, within, like, five feet of the pin, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was a really good shot. So, the, you know, you mentioned before that you don't win any money in the Ryder Cup, but you do get the Ryder Cup trophy, which was commissioned by the English seed merchant Samuel A. Ryder to Mapping Web Company, who created the trophy for 250 pounds. Uh, that's the equivalent of roughly $21,000 in 2020 Ryder Cup presented the trophy to the Professional Golfers Association of Great Britain and Ireland. Uh, the Ryder Cup trophy is made out of gold and is 17 inches tall and measures 9 inches from handle to handle. It weighs 4 pounds, roughly the same as a large bottle of ketchup. So, mm, weird. Tasty. Mm. Do you think <laughs> that's that. like, do they treat it like the Stanley Cup? Like, I don't know what it looks like, but do you think they drink out of it and stuff? And like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I've seen them drinking out of like the Claret Jug and some of the other trophies as that like PGA Championship Tour. It's like I've seen them drinking out of those trophies. So I imagine if it fits beer, they'll put it in there. Or other things. That, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you definitely could. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You could drink out of that. But not very much, but yeah. Uh, a replica given to the winner of the biannual competition. So they don't get the real one, but they, they do get a replica. Yep. And um, then, uh, also, you can share this article on Facebook and X. So I will forward that to you, Alex. And you oh can my gosh! <laughs> no. Speaking <laughs> of uh, of celebrating after a win, there's a pretty funny video of uh, Dustin Johnson giving like a post match interview in of the last year, the Whistling Straits one, where he's just freaking hammered. <laughs> you can see his eyes are all glossed over, oh, and he's just like. God. Uh, the rookies were were good. It's their first time. The rookies and they did a they did a great job. The rookies were good. <laughs> it's, just, it's pretty funny. It's ridiculous. I'll send Alex, it to the X. We can that. put it on the X. Yeah. 
because it wasn't uh, All right. <laughs> because it wasn't like who who was that again that was given that Dustin Johnson. Uh, I think it was Dustin Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, and then wasn't Justin Thomas behind him, like just big eyed, like oh my yeah, god, just this cracking guy up. Like, this guy is for real right now. <laughs> this guy is smoked. <laughs> Eh, it probably looks like me every time I come off an 18. Be like, oh, I thought I was going to go in there and play good, but I didn't. And then, uh, how many How many people participate in the Ryder Cup? I mean, is it just, is it varied? I don't. I honestly have no idea. No. So there's a team of uh, 12. Yeah, a team of 12. Okay. Well, yeah. So two teams of 12. Yeah. Okay. That's quite a few people. Fair amount. Yeah. We just read all their names. So yeah. Oh, I, I was too busy posting to Twitter for the. 20 minutes and then someone's got to do it well, i would get confused because it's x and then but twitter i just dang you uh elon musk how dare yeah you. how dare you change the name of something i don't uh, know what the point I mean, was i just don't i don't why would you rebrand something that is like on the top i just i don't get it he wants to make something that's like own. It's like it's so well established. Facebook switching to Meta. You don't have to switch this stuff. You can just leave it alone. Well, it's because it's full of naked ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. The X makes sense then, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. But, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but a little trivia: How many ooh. Poland ones have been at the Ryder Cup? All time. Ooh. How many? I'm gonna... This is a good. Tri- this is a good trivia question. Uh, How many are you gonna give us there? How many? You know, what's our error? Within, uh, I would say, like your range is one to twenty. I would give Brady. Quick googling. I would guess twelve. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> just Google that. Movie. <laughs> Ten. I'd say five. Oh, well, uh, Brady. What's your guess? Twelve. Alex Zero. is the closest. There's been six hole in ones. Oh. Price is right, Alex, rules too. Alex wins uh, another <laughs> X <Twitter> post. post. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>. another X <laughs> post. Uh, you want to put that up quick? Jeez. Well, you think with that, boy, I don't know. You'd think that'd have a more. Th- I would think it would have more than that. But... Say the last one was in 2006. Oh, really? Wow. That was a long time ago. And it was also two people did it in 2006. Um, T Woods? No, uh, two guys I've never heard of: Paul Casey and oh, Scott yeah. Verplank. 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 Gosh, these names! It's all made up. It's all <laughs> conspiracy. None of this ever happened. I remember that game, Kerplunk. That was a fun game with the marbles, and you got to pull the sticks. I like that one. All right, let's see <laughs> another one. People are just flashing back right now. Yeah. Yep. How many left-handed golfers have been in? Three Ryder Cup. You look five. What is that right? One. Yes, you were right. <laughs> the three? three. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Can so you name any... two out of the three? three hat. One out of the three. Brady can now name one. Yep, that's one. There's no oh, one that's pretty recent too. John. Um, is Kent John John lefty? Potensky. No, he's not lefty. Uh, I got it's nothing. Right Bubba Watson. Bubba. Oh. Oh, Bubba Fett, yeah. All right, another trivia. Who's the oldest player that's been in the Ryder Cup? This was in 1993. Oh. Mm-hmm. And I've never heard Sergio. of him. Jack <laughs> Penansuela. Nope. <laughs> Arnold Paul. It's a guy with, guy with two first names. Arnold Arnold. Tom Ricky Paul. Bobby. Raymond Floyd. Almost 51 it. years and 20 days old. I've never met too many Floyds. Yeah, I was like, I'm sure that's your first Floyd name. Mayweather. Um, how many Floyds? Well, I've never met him. Um, <laughs> Just because he's, you haven't met him. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe I'd like, I'd like to. I guess. I, yeah, right, I don't even many Floyds. Go the other way around. Who's the youngest player to play in the Ryder Cup? And somebody said him. They Linda Chen. <laughs> Shut up. <Alex>. <laughs> you like this trivia? Come on. <laughs> Um, I don't know golfers. That's the I mean, problem. The that's always just Tiger, I, right? I think somebody said him. No, it wasn't. Not Tiger. Um, he was 19 years old and 258 days. So he was almost 20. What year? 1999. Ugh. Sergio. Yep. Garcia. Yep. Sergio Garcia. Nice. Hmm. Good work. I mean, if we were keeping track. No, you weren't even guessing. <laughs> no, I, don't. I was at least throwing out BS names. Uh, Mike, a real Hunt. person. Hugh 
G Rection. <laughs> <laughs> That's about Happy all Gilmore. the good ones that are like weird facts about it. Hmm. I like that. I like to end on some trivia. Yep, I ain't got any more Ryder Cup facts. Mm-mm. Except those two custom drivers they made. Both of them are pretty sick. Yeah, those are nice. Oh, Alex, you should buy the stealth one. What's that? Yeah, buy that USA stealth driver. It's sweet. Yeah, oh, Taylor made. Won't do it. I tell you, man, this next year, I'm going to be really looking for some new clubs. I think I'm going to do all Taylor Maids. Since you think if, I'm, if I'm going for the stealth, I might as well. Just have you think the regular well stealth is expensive. Made. Just get the, the Ryder Cup specific stealth. That's going to be twice as much. Yeah, I, I'll throw like a wrench in it. I'll have a, still a Wilson bag. <laughs> get all nice Taylor made <laughs> stuff. Even the balls. I'm going to get a Wilson bag. If you buy the whole set, they might throw in a Taylor made bag. Possibly. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I, did I tell you guys about the bag that my buddy uh, Dean got at a um estate sale this summer no he went to went to an estate sale and literally bought these golf clubs for like i think it was like 20 bucks maybe even 12 bucks and he literally just bought them because he wanted the bag and they were like wooden woods and everything like just this ancient set of clubs and it is bright red like crocodile skin golf bag (laughs) It, it, it is pretty sweet I say you probably could get a lot of money for that. Actually, I mean it's probably fake crocodile skin, but it's right, still but, pretty yeah, it's still sweet. the aesthetics there. Yeah, I mean who cares? You roll up with that, and people are like, oh my gosh, yeah, this our guy, girl go this crazy. Guy <laughs> <laughs> that alligator skin. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that probably wouldn't happen. You get a real cooler instead of a trash bag. Yeah. yeah, boy, you guys are bitter about that trash. <laughs> yeah, do better, do better. Yeah. All right, fellas. Well, I guess Brady, if you uh, plan on doing any bets, keep us posted. You still owe me for your last one, so I am making any for you. I know, no, I mean, no, I'm not going to bet. No, I'm saying if you take yeah, the trip over avoid, to Iowa, he wants to avoid paying you as much as possible. So making <laughs> another bet would only make that probably happen. So if he, he even wins, the there, yeah. <laughs> Well, I did. Blake, Blake does all this like electronic stuff with computers and everything, but then like Venmo, he can't figure out. I don't know how to send you this money. I don't. It's, it's so hard. There's an ad block, and I just I can't get around it, and I don't know what to do. Like, I'm like, you give, you give me what? money first, and we'll see if that works, and then I'll send you money back. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know me too well. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. All right, fellas. Well, thanks for hopping on. Go USA. Next week, USA. Canada. USA. Neighbors USA. to the north. I don't got anything on Canada. All right, bye. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's go. <laughs>